brace yourselves, this gal's bringing lanky back and in a big way. She's actually the second most lankiest insect on the planet, or maybe to avoid confusion, we should say longest. Yup, let's go with that definition. And she was recently discovered by a duo of researchers in northeastern Vietnam. The only other insect ever found to be longer happens to be another species of phasmid, which is something us lay folk might call a stick bug, cause it looks like a stick. And if you're wondering what the measurements on these bad boys are, I got you covered. From the head to the butt, aka body length, our new friend is tapering off at just under 32 centimeters. And if for some reason you prefer to go and stretch out its front legs, you can call it 54. That's over 21 inches for all my America amigos. Now, the Chan Man over here from 2008, she still holds the crown with respective measurements of 36 and 57 centimeters. But right about now, you're probably saying, hey, animal wire, is it just the females that are really big? And the answer is yes. The males are considerably smaller and won't be breaking no records anytime soon. But if you don't mind, I'd like to veer off for just a moment here and share with you one of the more fascinating tidbits about their development. And it all starts off with the little guy's eggs. In many species, they resemble plant seeds. Notice the little nub on the end. Seeds have this thing too and they attract the hell out of ants because they're super delicious and nutritious. So what ends up happening is only this part gets consumed and the rest is cached somewhere in the nest where it can develop and hatch safe from predators, like those utterly disturbing parasitic wasps. But it doesn't end there, at least not with this well-documented species, who when newly hatched mimics those same ants so that it can go undetected and escape the nest. It is only after once clear of any danger that it molts into its adult form which it was always destined to be. That's some pretty sneaky stuff. So I don't know what to say, if you don't love stick bugs by now, you gotta at least respect them. Once again, thanks for tuning in and giddy up.